The final trailer for the upcoming Ron Howard Chris Hemsworth film In the Heart of the Sea has hit the web. Set in the winter of 1820, In the Heart of the Sea follows the New England whaling ship Essex as it is assaulted by something no one could believe, a whale of mammoth size and will, an almost human sense of vengeance. The real-life maritime disaster would inspire Melville's Moby Dick, but that told only half of the story. In the Heart of the Sea reveals the encounter's harrowing aftermath as the ship's surviving crew is pushed to their limits and forced to do the unthinkable to stay alive. The film opens on December 11th. Mark Byers saw this new trailer for In the Heart of the Sea. I am so buying everything I'm seeing for this movie. I cannot wait to see this picture. It looks like they made the right move by indicated by this trailer that they moved it from earlier in the year to come out around Oscar time because this thing could be a contender for awards. But more so than that, it looks like such an entertaining film. And it appears that Brendan Gleeson is old Chris Hemsworth from the trailer. Like it's an old dude telling the story of when he was young. So it's the second trailer in like two weeks we've gotten when you have an old guy saying all the legends, they're true. This is one of the best legends of all time. I can't wait to see this come to life. It looks like we got the right team on board. I expected to see Han Solo go, it's true, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> but uh, I love the trailer. This looks like it's going to be one of these movies, and I th we might have mentioned this before, that has it all. Amazing story, great mythology, terrific performances, but also the big spectacle of great action and visual effects, wonderment and all, all rolled into one package, and it's being brought to us by the same director who gave us Backdraft, for heaven's <laughs> sakes. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen Backdraft, Freaking watch Backdraft. That movie's amazing. Um, Brendan Gleeson was, this is our first glimpse at him. This trailer mm -hmm. gave us a first glimpse of Brendan Gleeson, uh, who is indeed playing the older uh, Chris Hemsworth. So I guess Hemsworth doesn't die, spoiler, um, <laughs> in the film. <laughs> but Brendan Gleeson is one of these actors, dude, that a lot of times you mention the name and people won't know who you're talking about. Show them a picture. It's like, oh yeah, I've seen him in like a million things. And he always, always brings it like completely if he's in a project as a character actor supporting character i'll go over, i think he's the best character actor in the business today i will watch him in anything play any kind of role he can play a frail old man but then you go into something like troy and you can totally buy him as this huge warrior king who will kill you with his bare hands he can do it all i love this guy and this trailer does not disappoint for me it's a big buy yeah, I buy it. I I don't buy that he's playing uh, Hemsworth, the young, the older Hemsworth. Though their accents, their voice, everything about the way they even talk sounds completely different. They basically butted him right next to another dialogue scene with with Hemsworth, and it sounded like two completely different people. So See, maybe it's I, his younger friend or something. I don't know if it's the same character. You know, it's not. All right, I'm looking it up. It is there we not. Go. It's I not. knew I was Everybody right. Everybody, strike what I said from the record. He is actually <laughs> playing the young. Thomas Nickerson, Chris Hemsworth character is Owen Chase. Uh, he's right. playing the old Thomas Nickerson. The young Thomas Nickerson is being played by Tom Holland. All right, there so, we go. There so we go. The new Spider-Man. Spider so, Spider so that makes okay, sense yes. because they just don't Good even call. have the same Good accent. Catch. There's no uh, so. the way the trailer put it together though, because you see Brendan Gleeson, and then the next scene you see Thor. And he so kind of looked like an old. Chris and I was Hemsworth. like, okay, maybe somebody ate the yeah. Bowflex along the way, but like <laughs> Thor, it, they, they kind. I did get the resemblance, right. but now that we don't need to worry about that, this yeah. movie looks even that, better. That was my only worry. Now that it's cleared up. I cannot wait to see this <laughs> so movie. So maybe Chris Hemsworth does die in the movie. Oh. But Tom Holland doesn't. Spoiler. Uh, such a fantastic story, Moby Dick. And then now we're going even earlier before, like the, actually the origin of Moby Dick with Melville in there, like he hearing the story, like the what inspired it. Uh, it's such a tragic thing, too. I, uh, I I always get bummed out when I hear about whale uh, hunting and the harpooning and stuff like that. So it feels like this movie is going to show both sides of it, where it's like the pure terror of being attacked by a giant sea monster and also the horror of whaling itself. So... I, it, every, it has everything in it for me. I cannot wait to see and it. And they're not backing down the advertisement. I mean, like like we've all said, it not only looks like it could win awards, it looks like a great adventure. It looks like a great film for even families to go see around Christmas yeah. time. It's not backing down to the mantle of Star Wars. It's like, no, we have a great picture we're selling here. I like that we got three trailers this early. And if you've been to a movie theater recently, the poster for In the Heart of the Sea looks amazing with the yes. boat and the oh, whale. You can see so the whale so underwater. Good. This movie's going to be sweet. <laughs> and here, you know, we often talk about red flags. The other big green flag, let's not forget about this. This movie was supposed to open like 10 months ago. Right. You know, we had Ron Howard did a recorded a little movie talk message to put on before movie talk one day. It was opening next week. Only that didn't quite happen. A lot of times we get worried about these red flags of studios moving their movies into like, you know, waste grounds for movie releases. What did these guys do? 
They got the heart of the sea and they say, you know what? F this. This thing can win awards. And they took it and they moved it into December, right into the heart of the Oscar race. Mm. Big green flag for me. Right. So I think we could be looking forward to something really, really special. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.